Let's Play! Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Tooie Blind and Live. We're live again. Different session this time, though. We are now a couple weeks ahead of what happened last time. And, uh, I think this time the main big thing is the Wigwam. Finding this Wigwam that I need to transform into Submarine Banjo. It's not really a sp Really? Really? Just right off the gate? We're just gonna freeze up right off the gate? I mean, hey! Whatever! It's not like... Are you serious? Well, <laughs> time to take out the cartridge and not blow into it because it says in the back to not do it, but uh... Really? I just started! <laughs> the Let's Play curse runs deep in this game. Okay, let's try this. Not gonna blow into it. Let's go. Alrighty. And now it's not playing. Are you si- No. No, no, no. This isn't actually happening. This is- I did blow into it, I'm sorry. Oh, it doesn't feel right putting it in like that, one sec. There we go. Okay. What? Are you ser- Are- Let me go get my Q-tips, guys. I can't believe this is actually happening. This is not actually happening. Nope. There is no way. I can't, I can't, be I can't believe that this is actually happening on a live stream. Okay, so, pro tip. Q-tips. The best thing to use them for is cleaning your old games. But it's weird, I haven't actually taken it out of the N64 since last time. Like, it's not come out of the N64, it stays in there. <laughs> Everyone in- <laughs> Grunty! Please work? Please? Seems to work. Oh boy. <laughs> Just wouldn't be live stream without something going terribly wrong, like me choking to death or or this, you know. <laughs> oh yes, the N64. You are just a bundle of. I will say it's it's much easier to to get working than than the NES. SNES works really reliably though. Um, it's only this one that really uh really is like that weird balance of it either works a hundred percent of the time. Or just doesn't, it just refuses to work in general. There's been a couple times where I actually thought the N64 was completely broken. And it sucks, because I love my N64. I love all Nintendo consoles. This is kind of embarrassing to happen live, says Lint Fox. You have no idea. But I mean, worse, worse things have happened live. At least I'm not like some Dota players who, or was it Dota or League of Legends? I don't know, who've, uh... Scratched their buttholes and walked around in their shorts, and by shorts I mean underwear, uh, on a live stream. I've heard stories, terrible stories of stuff like that happening, um, just because they leave their, their cameras on. Hence why my camera is not on, because you would probably see me do something really weird. Not that i do that, but it would just be Sturgeon's Law. Hey, a doubloon. I didn't even know that we left one there. Sure. <laughs> now! Back to where we were just doing stuff. I actually saw two doubloons up here. So let's grab those while we can. Or not, that's cool. Oh, do we? Oh. I have an idea. Now that we got it. But we don't. Oh, I screwed up. Oh, I screwed up bad. Well, we only have two. Whatever. I, I don't need doubloons. Doubloons are for losers. No, they're not. They're just for pirates. Okay, so back to the actual game without it freezing would be nice. We need to find this wigwam. Uh, I heard something about a tall rock, but other than that, I have no idea where to go. So I'm thinking of going back down there. There might be something in there. That seems like an area where it might be. So, because I mean, the only other one that it looks like I can get at this time is ones that revolve around Submarine Banjo, which I've also been told 
is like the way you're supposed to fight Lord Wu Fak Fak. I still feel really dirty saying his name. Like not dirty, but it just it sounds like something that Rared put in just to make kids say Fak. And considering they're British, I wouldn't be surprised. But um Yeah, no, just looking at what I have to do here, that seems to be the proper thing. Because the other ones it says like moves that I don't have and stuff and fun times. So let's take a look around. That looks like a mouth. That is not where we have to go, I'm guessing. Kazooie can jump higher on the pads without the bear to hold her down. I did not know that. Did they actually ever tell you that? Because, like, that's actually really important information. And it also makes a lot of sense. But I don't think they've ever actually told you that. Hi, Battlebound54! Thanks for joining my stream. If you have tips, tricks, tips and tricks, uh, EGM Gaming Monthly, whatever, feel free to help me. Nintendo Power. RIP Nintendo Power. I, st I found a Nintendo Power while cleaning out my stuff a few days ago. It was the Pokemon Platinum one. I felt really sad. Because, like, man, Nintendo Power was my jam. It was the only way I got information on games back when pre- Like, not pre-internet, but I was too young to use the internet. I mean, I still did. But it was, like, not for... I'm just gonna leave it there. <laughs> so, how high can we go with him? Whoa! Okay. That's new. I didn't know about that. Huh. I wonder if we can get some secret stuff with this then. Can we hop into this? That is literally just a texture. Let's get a survey of the area. I don't think it's in this area. But it's the only place I know of where there might be tall rocks. So where am I even supposed to go? Oh boy. Um. Let's just talk to people. Because I forget you could do that in this level. It's a very, uh, more populated. Okay, what are these wave racers? Can we actually get one? Which is funny, because didn't Rare just recently make a wave racing type game on, uh... What's this say? Legend has it that the goldfish hold the secret to fast swimming. Okay. What about this door? Private. Huh. It might actually be private. But... Whoops. Something up here? Why would this jump pad be here? Didn't I do something with this already? Pretty sure. Oh, hey, I could probably get up there. I feel really dumb if I've already done all this. I most likely have. I just don't remember. Kazooie is a girl. I heard you call Kazooie guy. I did not call Kazooie guy. I would never do that to Kazooie. Did I? I feel bad. I know Kazooie's a girl. I give her a distinctly female voice. Not that you'd be able to tell, but, uh... Oh, right! I was told about these rare boxes, though. Speed shoes. That's not what I was told about them. I was told there was special power-ups in them. Okay. I think I've already did this, though. There's a Jiggy you can get, but you need the Kazooie Hatch move. Go back to the first world. The first world to get that move? Are you talking about... Whoa. You're not talking about, like, the first world, are you? I'm pretty sure I got all the moves in that world. 3 out of 3. 2 out of 2. 3 out of 3. 3 out of 3. 1 out of 3. So I have to go to Pterodactyl Land to get him. Are you talking about, like, Spiral Mountain? Because if so, I've, like, never gone back there. So... Uh, we've gone, okay, so we've gone to the store. Let's, let's just find that wigwam first, I think. Um, you can trust me, there is a move. Are you sure? I just don't know, considering the fact that it says 3 out of 3, not in the first world. Okay. We're getting some conflicting information. This isn't good. So this is where the UFO was. Left a nice little indent. Not very uniform for something that was a very uniform ship. No, Pterodactyl Land is where you get it from. Okay. Thank you for clarifying on that. And, ooh, what is this? Where is this? 
I don't even think I've ever been in here. Ooh, it's very blue. Maya Him Temple has an area where you can go to go. Ooh, I think I know what you're talking about. Because I remember doing the thing where I went to go see that one caveman. Yeah. So that actually makes a lot of sense. Now to just... It was in the, the big the big guy's place. I remember that now. Okay, so what, uh, what eggs should we get? Fire? We never use fire though, really. Or not. That's cool. I just missed. Um... Been in there. This is a smuggler's cave, isn't it? Yes, and there's that Jiggy that I apparently cannot get yet. Apparently. Um... Where is that wigwam? I'm going to wig out. <laughs> oh. Terrible jokes are the best jokes. You know, I'm guessing it's not even in this area. I'm most likely... Uh, the shortcut has a jam jar solo that you couldn't afford. Did it? Because if so, I don't remember that. Then again, that was almost a year ago, maybe. I don't even know. How long have I been doing this game? Way too long. <laughs> the problem with doing games blind. I mean, I wouldn't be talking... It's funny. I was, I was just thinking to myself, like... What would the difference between me doing this live and not be... I mean, other than the fact that I have people to talk to. I think it would just... I think I would speak roughly the same amount. So it's not like doing this live is giving anyone less or more commentary. I don't know. You know what? Let's... Let us take a look at the wiki. Because I am... I'm a cheater. At least for a hint. Like, that that's all I need. It's just one hint in the direction. Go to the Atlantis area and I'll tell you where Humba is. Thanks, Battlebound! Will do. Okay, Atlantis area? That's all I needed. I could most likely figure it out actually from here. So I just, that's the problem. It's like these levels get big. Okay. Uh, Mr. Squid, Rocktopus, whatever. Ice to meet you. I... Uh, ice... I... Ice to meet- there we go. Ice to meet you. What killed the dinosaurs? The Stone Age. No, damn it, I screwed- <laughs> I screwed that up, didn't I? I screwed that up. It's supposed to be Ice Age. You free- I'm- I'm done. Hashtag so done. Oh wow, Warpad. Have I even gotten that one? That would probably be very helpful. If I had gotten that. Search for a crystal hole around the area. Crystal hole? Is that the crystal hole? Or is that the hole in which I came? That is the hole from which I came. Crystal hole. That looks crystal-y. That looks spiny-y. Okay, let's get out of this. Is this what you mean by crystal hole? Because I think I've been in here. But I could be incredibly wrong. Oh, there's a Globo! I think I'm going the right way then. This is if this is the Globo, then that means the wigwam should be up there. <gasps> yes! It is also underwater. She can be in a bikini. I'm looking forward to this. Is she gonna be? What? Rip off. That's not fun. Ah, oh, I can jump into her pool. Wait, how is the lick? I'm not even gonna question it. Yes, give the globo to you. Sure, I'll just throw it in. To the water, in the water. SpongeBob logic. See, she says jump into the pool. She should really say dive into the pool. Because let's be honest here. It doesn't even make sense for us to to jump into what we are already floating in. Did the Globo just jump out? I think he did. 
Wumba, call this submarine. Okay. Press A. Did she say press A for much speed? Did this game invent the Doge meme? <gasps> I hate that meme. I despise the Doge anything. It is not funny. Okay. So yeah, we actually go quite fast. B pings. Whoa. Okay, don't press B. That's very disorienting. Whoa. Whoa. I can see how this would have helped the Lord Wufak Fak fight quite a bit. Hey, if they're un if they're underwater, how can there be a piff? What? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Okay, so this is actually going to be quite helpful. So we have to go back down to I think it's David Jones Locker that had the the the, the thing that we could go in with this. I think the path to it is up here. I think. It's very confusing. The Globos always jump out of the pool water? I never noticed. Can we just murder him? Straight up? I mean, he should be dead. We are literally filling him with napalm stuff, I think. I don't know. Or, hey, we could just avoid it all. Or not. Come on. Don't die on me here. Come on! No! Go! Sub, 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 banjo! Wait, no, this is- Oh, I went the wrong way, that's why. Uh, let's, we'll just see if there's anything here. Can we blow up these guys? Well, we already got all the stuff in them, though. Okay, so we went the wrong way. Okay, we gotta just get through. Come on! Come on! No! I don't want to die! I still have so much of my life ahead of me! I made it. <gasps> I made it. I made it. Yes! Now to find life, please. Any sort of life would be nice. No, Davy Jones Locker is down. What am I doing? That's the only actual logical thing that I completely didn't even think about. Oh, there's gonna be no... Damn it. There's no way I'm getting past this guy. Okay. Wait. Would the ping kill him? Possibly? Whoa! That doesn't even make sense. But I will take it. Maybe he's like Venom. You can press B to freeze them. Thanks for giving me that message. As I'm joking. I understand that there are there are the whole you know time delay thing. I just don't want this guy to kill me. There we go. Life! Life! Where is it? Don't go away, I need you! There we go. Okay, we have at least two now. We're good. Or not, I don't know. Okay, so David Jones Locker is through this hole. I think. If I recall. Camera needs to zoom out just a tad. Wasn't it through the side or something? Yeah, right there. Hi, Beast Megs! Thanks for joining me. You like my everything on Tumblr. I just get thousands of messages from you. Also on, uh, uh, Twitter. Is that gonna get him? Okay, sure, I'll take it. You know, electromagnetic currents. Actually, whoa, that might actually make sense. No, it wouldn't. I'm gonna get this guy. I'm gonna snipe him from right here. Oh, oh! Wait, I don't really need to snipe him considering I can just go full automatic, right? Yeah! That's better. Oh, dude, there's a box. Give me your contents. There we go. that grab that and grab that we're good okay or not uh not gonna go into david jones locker but actually gonna go down and i keep forgetting about the warp panels <laughs> got down here at oh wow thanks thanks for being incredibly meta 
Little shooting challenge. Please don't be timed. Don't be timed. Do you need instructions? Sure, I actually might take these instructions. I've littered this place with lovely mines, which hopefully you'll run into. Destroy my mines to score my ill-deserved points. Blue ones are worth three. Green ones get you two. Red only ones. Okay. Don't be timed. Don't be timed. Gosh dang, it's timed. Thank God for unlimited bullets. Okay, I'm gonna go the same strategy I did last time, which is trigger finger on the thing. Press A to go forward. Okay, this is not gonna go well. Okay. Actually, it might. I, I feel good, actually. I feel like I got, I got my control scheme down. Get the blues. Blues, blues are... Now that I, now that I get the understanding that blues are worth the most, I'm gonna head for them. There's a blue. Da ba dee da ba da. There's a blue. I think I might actually get this. Now please don't be this whole rare thing of, oh wait, no, there's actually three levels you have to do to get the jiggy. Yeah, rats. You luckily scored enough points to win my prize. Oh, wow, no, there's only one. Yes. And let's go grab that, why not? Not in first person view. I don't like first person view. I gotta say, that method of holding it like trigger finger and then basically I'm one handing my controller with my other hand on- oh wow. I'm doing like the, the Seth Killian crossover style, which is terrible for this controller. <laughs> I could see how the Xbox controller might be better in that regard. Gotta say, at work I've been using the Xbox controller exclusively because it's native and... Do you want to play again? No. I've been using the Xbox controller exclusively because it's native to the PC, so... I've gotten quite used to the Xbox controller, surprisingly. Uh, what other ones? I don't think there's any... ...that I can get here. Okay, so, nope, can't get that one. Can't get that one. Oh, wow, cool. No, we're done here. Sweet. Let's head out with that warp pad we just had. Hopefully we'll just be able to, you know, breach or whatever, not have to do the whole go back and untransform thing, because that is annoying. Yeah, let's try and get that. <laughs> try and get, there we go. Just move on to the pad and press B to warp. That's exactly what I did. So, oh, darn it, I can't. I actually have to go back, don't I? Okay, let's do this. See, that's the kind of game design that I think, like, how awesome would it be that if you could just warp onto land and then you'll be like, Oh, Humba Wumba can't sustain magic. Turning back to not yourself. So, because that's what she sounds like. Sounds like Taya from Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. <laughs> Friendship and stuff? I miss Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. Oh, dude! I got air! I want to do it again! Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Whee! I love that. Uh, yeah, it's like Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. It's like, I remember just used, used to watching it all the time. And now it's only on, like, I understand. Dude got, like, super famous after it, and he's on everything. So, yeah. Now let's head back. Please don't tell me there's a warp panel I missed up here, meaning that this was all an entire meaningless voyage. Because, uh... If it is, I will most likely not be a very happy camper. I don't see one. So, maybe I am good. Alright, yeah, no, we're heading to Pterodactyl Land now but through the first level. So it's gonna be very interesting to see what's gonna happen. Oh boy, this slowdown. I really, you know, I want, I really wanna get an N64 expansion pack, but I mean, if only for this game, then it's not kinda worth it. Cause they're like expensive online. 
I do look at every garage sale I go to, you know, thinking about if I see one of them, I will get one. But I don't, I, I don't think I'll be able to actually get a uh, expansion pack unless I buy another N64. And I mean, <laughs> who would buy two of the same console? I mean, it's not like, not like some people have two PS2s and two Wii's simply because hey, they were on sale, and they went and decided to go and buy them. Who would do that? Not I, said me. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so, I think... I don't know, I actually don't know how long this part's been going, because technically... Technically, the pre-scream included, that was... Not 20 minutes, I don't think. Whatever, I think... Once I get out of here... We'll call it apart, guys. Oh, we also have to do this, but I don't think you can do that yet, from what I've read. Because, whoops, I spoilered! You should fight the boss in Pterodactyl Land. I am not looking forward to any bosses in that level. Dinosaurs and me are not friends. Like, I mean, yes, they are extinct, and hey, that's awesome. But I've told my stories about how I'm terrified of anything large and reptilian. I think I'd be okay with the Komodo Dragon. That's only because they're actually, like, cool. I think. Actually, no. Don't they, like, account for, like, a lot of deaths each year? So. Radio, let's head back to the first level. And, uh, guys. Next time, we will be doing Pterodactyl Land via Maya Him Mayhem. That's what it was called, right? Right. Okay. See you guys next time. Ciao.